In this video today, we're going to talk about some interesting things, but basically the major th piece that we're going to talk about is stem cells and athletes, the seven best ways to ensure winning performance. I'm Dr. Orlando Landrum, a Harvard and Cornell trained MD who specializes in interventional pain, regenerative medicine, and neuromodulation techniques. I've helped thousands of patients be able to get their lives back and eliminate their pain. And on our channel, Cutting Edge Pain Relief, what we endeavor to do is to try to have patients have a broader understanding of some of the challenges that they're faced with, but also some of the solutions and options that they have to be able to deal with their problems. And those options don't just include the elements of surgery, cortisone injections, or harmful opioid medications. On today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about stem cell therapy, how it can be useful for the athlete, and when is it an appropriate fit? Just so people can understand what stem cells are, I'm gonna give some clarity about what a simple explanation might be. So stem cells can look like a whole host of things. They can look like this. How about these? Well, clearly these are stem cells, right? Well, it could be all of the above. So these cells that look like the cells from your high school biology book, they could potentially be stem cells. Really, stem cells are broken down into three different types. There's adult, there's embryonic, and there's induced pluripotent. We don't need to use the fancy terms, but we just need to know they can differentiate into different types of tissues. So when we think about stem cell therapy and other components of uh, treatment for recovery, as well as improvement overall, we think about something that's called peak performance, which is different ways, both through the physical as well as through the mental elements of how to be able to improve athletic endeavors to be at the peak of tip top performance. And those things go from everything from physical conditioning to mindset, to flexibility, to strength training, to endurance, to power. And in so doing, athletes may have some degree of injury that takes place. What we're going to talk about is seven different ways on how those injuries that may result, how they can be able to be improved upon, get individuals back to dealing with treatments and how to be able to feel better overall. And so one of the things that is pretty common in a number of different sports is that of an ACL tear. And historically, ACL tears have been treated with a surgical intervention. However, the new ACL type tear that is the repair is not the same angle as what the what your native ACL is. Uh, the new ACL won't have sensors that can be able to tell where the position of your knee happens to be. It normally takes a fair amount of time to be able to have a recovery period to get close to being back to normal. And in the aspect of the ACL, it doesn't prevent the onset of arthritis. One of the things that Regenix has done and other uh, entities that use stem cell type therapy is that they have been able to find ways to treat uh, a blown out um, ACL and be able to repair it and get it back to native function by just using a needle without using any type of scalpel or surgical type intervention. So then comes the context of meniscus tear. So if we look at the, the picture in the top left hand corner, we can be able to make out the femur or thigh bone, the shin bone below, and the meniscus that sits right in between. As you can see, there's a number of connecting ligaments that are in place from everything from the quadriceps tendon to patella tendon to the ACL to the PCL. And all of those things are hugely important in terms of maintaining the structural integrity of the knee. In contact sports, frequently that knee, when it goes through different specific type of movements that normally push that knee inward, can cause meniscal issues. And there are different types of tears that exist 
from a meniscal issue. There could be a longitudinal tear, there can be a radial tear, there can be oblique tear, there can be bucket handle tears. And those tears have some degree of importance, particularly depending on what zone within the cartilage area they are located. So the zones demarcate blood flow. So a traditional red zone has a fair amount of blood flow and a white zone doesn't have quite as much. And so it's impactful to the elements of healing. Stem cells have been shown to be able to improve some of these depending on the nature, degree, and context, as well as being able to get patients slash athletes back to doing their athletic endeavor sooner, faster, and without having gone through the trials and, and tribulations of going through surgery. Number five is rotator cuff, which is pretty prominent in those sports that are throwing type sports where you see a tear that's present in one of the various different muscles that is in place. And with regenerative type stem cell treatment therapy has been shown to be able to improve those tears without necessarily needing surgery. Now, that doesn't work for every tear, but it can certainly work for many of them and prevent them from needing to have surgery being performed for then patients to be off for a period of time of being able to under, unable to practice their sport. Fourth would be Achilles. Some things that we see with those individuals who are runners or basketball players or ball ballerinas. Um, and those treatment options that comprise the aspect of the Achilles are numerous in nature. Um, there's evaluation of the foot to be able to see what's the contextual understanding of that Achilles tendon. Is it alone that it has an injury or does it have some other problems that are associated with it? How does it affect the gait? How does it affect traditional ankle mobility? And then uh, accordingly treat as needed. Number three would be knee pain, which can happen from a number of different things, but particularly in some of our female athletes, we can be able to see there's a 15 time risk of uh, ACL injury, particularly with when knees go inward. Uh, and there's a landing that can increase the risk of patellofemoral pain twice of what normal would happen to be. So there are treatment options for how we can treat the knees, whether we're looking at ligaments, ligaments rather, or whether we're looking at intraarticular injections or things that are contained within the context of the knee in order to be able to improve pain. And then there's foot injury where the bottom of the foot can have something that's called plantar fasciitis, which traditionally needs to be treated with exercise, rehab, and on occasion steroid injections. But there are treatments for plantar fasciitis that would allow for a much shorter rehabilitative course, as well as being able to get a more uh, effective treatment regimen. So number one is elbow pain, also known as... Uh, tennis elbow, which has a really effective treatment option in terms of being able to use not just stem cells, but potentially almost even utilizing just PRP as a benefit, which is platelet-rich plasma, for healing and improved overall function. But since you hung in with me for the aspect of the seven different types of conditions, I have one more that may be of benefit to know, and that is a back pain. So Certain elements of stem cell and PRP can be utilized to, to treat herniated disc, return them back to their normal function, and improve their overall look of not only their radiographic examination, but also their clinical appeal. Thank you for your time. If you found this video of value, by all means, please hit the subscribe button and let us know uh, in the comments if you enjoyed it, if there are certain things that speak to you, and what other new videos going forward in the future you might be interested in us talking about. Thank you. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and also give us a comment on the question of the day. Continue to look out for other videos that really help empower patients and give understanding about technology and treatment options that help patients get their lives back and be able to eliminate their pain. Thank you so much and have a great day.